Honestly, this is such a roller coaster. I feel like a complete newbie one moment and then I feel much more comfortable the next and then I master some skill and I feel like I'm on the top of the world just to feel like a newbie again. Welcome to my Wednesday. You're probably Thursday. It is 9.05. I've had a productive morning so far. I've already worked out, had breakfast. Um, my husband made coffee and I did my morning routines. Oh, and I did my hair, which is so unusual for me and I watered my plants because they were they needed some water I did stuff that was different from what I'm about to do um, just so that you know different parts of my brain are in action and yeah I think doing my hair was kind of part of that um, that is unheard of trust me um, I don't know if this is gonna uncurl soon but who cares I'm ready to jump in I'm 50% through the Linux architecture and components module and we're about to we're going to finish that very soon and start on networking and we're going to apply learnings from yesterday I realized that that workout during the day really helped me or in the afternoon really helped me get back into it so today I'm going to be more disciplined about taking breaks and being active throughout them so maybe do like a quick yoga thing or something like that just so that I have my blood flowing I know I worked out in the morning already but having that regularity during the day will definitely boost my brain activity, which is something that I need right now. So we're going to do that. And I'm wearing a sports bra for that, like a laundry sports bra and leggings so that I can just stop doing this here and do some yoga here. All right, let's jump in. We just learned about remote access and I really want to try it out myself. I know it's not part of the course, but I want to practice it. That's how I learn best. Slash, I'm also very curious whether I'd be able to do it. So I'm going to try to get into my remote uh, virtual machine, the Linux virtual machine from my Mac terminal. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. I've already identified the IP address. So all I have to do now is copy that. And theoretically, that should be fine. Ah, connection refused. But you know what? I attempted it. <laughs> oh, okay. So there we go. Uh, it tried to connect to it, but the connection timed out, and I don't know what's happening. So we didn't connect. It was a fun try. It was a fun try and I will I will try doing this once I'm done with the course I, I want to get back into it but I will definitely try doing this and experimenting with these things just so that we break the cycle of forgetting and you know solidify these skills because it's it's fun it's kind of it's kind of interesting can I hack into my husband's laptop <laughs> Now, this is exciting. We are done with the Linux module, finally. Um, and we're on to the networking fundamentals module. So our goal today is to do all of these and then these. Some of them are gonna take a long time. Well, no, this is two minutes. I thought this was two hours. That's two minutes, great. If we still have extra time, maybe I'm being ambitious because I'm just seeing, I don't see two hours on any of these. And yesterday we did have some two hours, um, two hour chunk ones. We're gonna see how it goes. And honestly, this is a topic that requires a lot of practice to actually um, grasp the concepts of, because otherwise, like we've already talked, you will forget things. You will not break that loop that cycle of forgetting. So I am excited to be able to practice them, um, play around with my virtual machine. I'm glad I set that up. Um, and honestly, it's great that the exam is going to be in a couple of months. The date is still pending at the moment. So it gives me plenty of time to prepare and to practice and to do all of this stuff. Honestly, it's super exciting, super interesting. So I'm going to um, practice it on my own after I'm done with this, along with going further into other modules. But you will see the majority of me, the majority of the process of me learning this, if that makes sense. 
So yeah, let's get started into networking and see how far we can get today. Time for lunch. I am very hungry and what time is it? It's 1, 108 to be precise. I am on the third module of the networking. Yeah, just started the third module of the networking fundamentals. We're steadily going towards our goal today and it's very interesting. It's all about different protocols, the stuff that I was lost when I saw all of these abbreviations before. So I'm very happy that I'm learning all of this information, uh, but I'm hungry and I need a refuel in the shape of my favorite thing, buckwheat. So we'll go do that now. And I'll continue learning while doing that. Slash I'm also planning to make some hummus for tonight uh, with jackfruit seeds. So I'm gonna be learning while doing all of that stuff. Well, hello there, internet travelers. I'm back and I'm on to networking five, the fifth module of networking fundamentals. And also my husband has left the premises, which means that, yes, I'm going to do some yoga here later um, after I'm done with this and digest it a little bit. But after that, I'm going to go downstairs and work in the living room because I need a change of scenery and it will be very welcome. The networking fundamentals are done. We're done with that module. And now we're moving on to servers and services, which I am excited about because it's building on the knowledge that I've already gained. We're talking about the different protocols for communication between client and the server. So now I know what's going on, I'm not gonna be lost. And also before we get into that, before we get into that module, which I know I will finish today and I will start make a start on the practical programming and concepts. I'm super excited to be making moves. Before I do that, I want to move my body somehow, uh, do some yoga or dancing or something because I remember from yesterday, it made me much more alert and helped me digest information much better, much more effectively. And I could work up until like, well, 9 p.m. essentially uh, last night because of that. So we're gonna move and then we're gonna return and get into the servers and services. Well, that was fun and also it did do the trick of making me feel much more alert. Um, so I'm onto the server and services module. Let's do this. I ended up working and working through making dinner. You saw how I make lunch. I also make dinner and made dinner in the same way. Honestly, just had the, the hummus that I made today with some quinoa and like some other veggies and stuff. But I have worked through the servers and services module without realizing it. Honestly, I finished it and I pressed next section and then it just said programming fundamentals. So I'm onto programming fundamentals and I didn't even notice it and it's not even eight o'clock yet. Okay, it's five to eight. I still have an hour of <laughs> waking time to go through programming fundamentals and I really hope that, you know, my foundational knowledge in programming will help me go through it faster. But I've realized that being here in the living room isn't very conducive to me focusing. So I'm gonna go back up into my office because it's just, it's just better there from that standpoint because I, yeah, I, like I get too distracted here. And of course, you know, like with dinner and stuff and we got some grocery deliveries, vegetable deliveries, so that didn't help. But still, let's go back to the office and do this stuff. Let's make a dent in the programming fundamentals module one. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
What a day. Honestly, it has been very productive. I'm much happier with my progress than I was yesterday. I'm 43% through the course, but I have managed to enter the programming, practical programming and concepts, which was the goal. And so I'm on track there and that makes me happy. And we have entered familiar territory for me because we're talking about Python and GitHub and there will be C, which I haven't done before, but I think it will be less foreign to me just because I understand the basics, the principles and all that stuff. It's not learning a completely new thing like it was earlier. Honestly, this is such a roller coaster. I feel like a complete newbie one moment and then I feel much more comfortable the next and then I master some skill and I feel like I'm on the top of the world just to feel like a newbie again. It's very dynamic, but this course is covering so many different topics and you know such a variety of things the foundations of how technology works that i mean of course remember how i told you about the puzzles and how they're making sense and how they're coming together yes that is exactly what this course is doing and i'm loving it honestly and the instructor is wonderful and his stories about specific examples of him working in the field are super helpful because they demonstrate how some of these technologies can be manipulated, etc., and also they kind of give a more of an entertainment edge. Although I have to say there is a lot of humor that is kind of laced into the whole course and I really appreciate it. It's kind of like geeky humor and I really appreciate it. But it is 8.57, which means that it's time for me to retire for the day and see you tomorrow for yet another day of this. So tomorrow's goal is to finish the practical programming and concepts and get started on the Windows foundations. I don't wanna to be too ambitious and set a goal to get into advanced computer hardware, although I really wish I could, but let's just keep it to that so that I'm not as disappointed as I was yesterday. Today is a much better feeling. I'll see you tomorrow.